Schools, business, and the world of sports. College and professional football in Michigan will continue, but without fans. This month, Alliance have allowed up to 500 family and friends to attend games, but that will end. No fans on Thanksgiving at Ford Field. At the high school level, the new restrictions mean sports goes on hold. Jamie Edmonds has more on that. Jamie. Steve, winter sports in some cases had already started practicing. I was just at Gross Point South Varsity Girls basketball practice Friday. As for fall sports, they were winding down. Four seasons were completed, but volleyball, girls swimming and diving, and football were in the middle of the postseason. This weekend would have been the regional round for the high school football playoffs, and the West Bloomfield Lakers were rolling. They were three games away from competing for a state title. My heart's broken for the kids, more so the kids than, than myself or the coaches. Um, you know, they, they did everything that you could possibly ask them to do. You know, hey, don't go to Halloween parties. Don't hang out once football practice is over with. Go home. Those things that we asked them to do on a daily basis, they did it. Head coach Ron Bellamy says tonight he received more than 100 calls and texts from parents and players wanting information that he just doesn't have. The MHSAA executive director Mark Yule released a statement tonight following the governor's press conference. Quote, we understand the need for action and we will explore all options to complete our fall tournaments when restrictions are lifted. We will assess everything over the next three weeks relative to fall and winter sports and come up with a plan that keeps us connected to our goal for months of having three seasons that are played to their conclusions. Bellamy says they would love to finish what they started, though playing in three weeks or even longer poses challenges without any practice. There is so much going on. Bellamy held a Zoom meeting tonight with his whole team, hoping to keep his kids engaged and positive. You know, it's a tough pill to swallow. Uh, the reality of it is, is uh, lives are more important than football. Um, you know, I, I heard for our seniors, but we were and are fortunate that we played a, a full season, a nine-game season. Great message, but obviously heartbreaking. They were two games away from what they thought would be playing for a state title. As you can imagine, there are a lot of volleyball and football players and swimmers and divers and coaches who are very disappointed. An MHSAA spokesman tells me their aim is to finish those playoffs. When they don't know, discussions will be ongoing. Steve? Or so many moving parts and so much information. All right, thank you, Jamie.